Instagram has announced the launch of accounts specifically for teenage users. The accounts of users under 18 will be set to private by default, and there will be restrictions on usage time. Contents that are considered age-restricted will be logged, and parents will have the ability to monitor their children's interactions. This new policy will first be implemented in North, Korea, North America, the UK and Australia with plans to roll it out in Asia by next year. Introducing Instagram teen accounts. Automatic protections for teens. Meta's social media platform Instagram announced on September the 17th that it would launch accounts specifically for teenagers. This initiative aims to address calls for increased regulation and protection measures on the platform. This means that anyone who has an Instagram account or is opening one who's under 18 will be placed in a special account that's more restricted. For teen users who spend more than 60 minutes on Instagram, a reminder notification will pop up. From 10pm to 7am, the app will automatically enter sleep mode, blocking even direct messages. Additionally, users under 16 will need to obtain parental permission to change their settings. <laughs> Many people might try to deceive the system by claiming to be adults to access certain content. If there are mechanisms in place, it could help prevent these issues. I was a child once too, and if kids want to get around something, there's really no way to fully prevent it. Kids are quite clever, and you can't design overly complicated systems. Otherwise, even adults might struggle to use them. Parents are concerned that excessive use of social media could impact their children children's physical and mental development and lead to learning difficulties. In response to regulatory pressures, there will be enhanced review mechanisms. In the future, content related to violence, fighting and explicit material will be restricted for underage users. This is also a kind of a trial. Given the increasing number of Instagram users, having restrictions for teenagers can at least help filter out sensitive content. I think this is a positive step. Experts believe that while the intention behind the new system is positive, its implementation remains to be tested. Currently, the teenage accounts are being rolled out in the United States, Canada, the UK and Australia first. Expansion to the EU is expected this year, while Taiwan will have to wait until next year for the new system to take effect.